Hi folks, thanks for joining us on this video. If you're new here, I'm Willie. And I'm Sarah. We're a musician and artist and at the end of last year we moved to a nearly 200 year old cottage on the Isle of Skye in the Scottish Highlands with our dog, Jack Spaniels. This week we set out on an epic adventure across the Highlands and into Aberdeenshire to test drive Willie's dream car. But will it live up to a lifetime of expectation or will it be a wasted journey in both time and money? At the very least, I was happy as we got to visit a stunning historic castle before the long journey home to Skylife Cottage. But was it in one car or two? Join, Join us, us as, as we continue. continue. Live in the sky life. Last week we told you about the exciting text message that I received as we were leaving the pub in Inverness. Well this is us waking up the morning after in our digs full of excitement as we were about to head out on another and unexpected road trip to Huntley in Aberdeenshire. But what were we so excited about seeing? Well, you're about to find out. We've just woken up and freshened up at a shower and we're going to check out soon. I've been looking to replace my car with a more suited car for the Isle of Skye. So we've been looking on a lot of social media pages and car pages etc and one's come up that looks pretty good and it's only about an hour and a half from here so we're going to go and check it out. The plan is to sell my car and then there shouldn't be much of a difference between the price of this car and my car. It's a Land Rover Defender. It's a 2010 car so it's not a new car but I do think that it's going to be safer on the tracks that we've got to drive down and particularly in the winter. There were a few sketchy moments in my car last winter and I don't want that happening, it's just dangerous. So I want to get a car that is far more suited to the environment that we live in. So we're going to go and look at this car today. I'm not saying we're going to buy it. At least then we'll have an idea of what we could be potentially looking at buying. We're going on another adventure, Jack? Yes, good boy. Well, someone is feeling very satisfied with himself. I found a nice, dog-friendly, independent breakfast option in Inverness. Mm -hmm. And this heathen decided we'd rather go to McDonald's for a breakfast. <laughs> so we're sitting in a car park. It's a guilty pleasure. Eating McDonald's. You know, some guys gamble and stuff. I go to McDonald's like once every six months. <laughs> so show me. Look at the size of those hash browns. They're huge. I just spotted something over here as well. Do, 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 do. Do, do. I'm not investing. Do, 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 do. Do. Man of time. If you don't watch Dragon's Den, that wasn't funny. Well, we're on our way to Huntley, yep. which is, I think we're on the road to Aberdeen, aren't we? But we're not going we quite are. as far Actually, as that. We're just coming into Nairn. This is the north coast of the bit of Sticks route. Yeah, which we haven't really explored that much. Not really. One fun thing about Huntley is obviously there's a car there, but there is also a castle. Which is the real reason I was allowed to go and look at this car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that bothered about cars, I'm a bit like, yeah. We want to have a safe car. Yes. And the one we've got just now just about gets away with it. I'll have a Land Rover, it would just be peace of mind, especially for me, because it's me that does the bulk of the driving. I like cars to be safe and I like them to be functional yeah. and not break. Well, you want them to be able to break them. <laughs> This is the right kind of car for the right environment. Yeah, I'm hoping that before we go see this car, we've got time to go look at the castle. Yeah, we will. We've got an hour and 15 minutes to go and check the castle out. More than enough time to explore our castle. Skylife form, um, when we check the opening times, they open every day apart from Thursday and Friday. And today is Friday. As you can see behind me here, this is the price list and we were happy to pay this, we wanted to pay it. But we can't because there's nobody here and we can't go in, it's such a shame. It's just bad timing. Um, we didn't know that until we were nearly here, that it was closed, so that's a shame. But at least we can see it, it's an absolutely beautiful castle. Are you being naughty? Yeah. What are you doing that's naughty? 
I wanted to read the signs. I gave a lot of years of my life to Historic Scotland, so... Uh... <laughs> The castle is dog friendly, so had it been open, we could have done this with Jack anyway, just take him around the grounds. But there is also a castle cat at Huntley called Buster, and that gentleman was feeding him, <laughs> which is quite cool. There has been a castle on this site since 1190, although the original timber building is now long gone. The land was gifted to the Gordon family by King Robert the Bruce after his famous victory at the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314, and they replaced the wooden building with a stone tower in the 1400s. The Gordon family occupied the castle until 1650, when the second Marquis of Huntley was executed in the Civil War. The unique piece of stone masonry over the main entrance to the palace was a defiant statement of the Gordon family's Catholicism, at a time when Scotland was officially a Protestant country. The castle was occupied by Presbyterian Covenanters in 1640, and they destroyed the Catholic imagery. We would have loved to see inside the castle if it was open, although we couldn't have taken Jack inside with us, as dogs are only allowed in the grounds. As we couldn't buy entry tickets to go inside, we gave a donation via the website instead, to help support the upkeep of this amazing historical building. I found some conkers. I love finding conkers. They're so cool. They're horse chestnut seeds. Or I think in America they're called buckeyes. But we call them conkers here in the UK. They're so beautiful, I love them. We used to go out and hunt them when we were kids. I think traditionally they're supposed to keep spiders away from your house, but I think that might just be an old wives' tale. One thing I do know is that you can make natural laundry detergent from conkers which is really cool. Maybe if I find enough, we could make some. Not many of these in Skylife Glen because there's no horse chestnut trees. Such a rebel. Well, I hadn't actually intended to make detergent from conkers, but now I have a whole pocket full of conkers, so I guess we're gonna give it a go at some point. <laughs> what do you think about um, Huntley Castle conker detergent? Yeah, sure. I think we'll call you Sarah the Conqueror. All right, come on then, let's get all going. Here we go. If you didn't know this already, it's crucially important for any man to climb underneath a potential car purchase and make sure it's not clinging together with sellotape, chewing gum or just the will and hope of the current owner. It's rule 1A in the man manual. Doing some sunbathing. Well, he's just gone out for a spin with the guy who owns the Land Rover to see how it drives. I have a feeling we might be going back with two cars today instead of one. How did I know this might happen? A spontaneous trip to Inverness to buy underwear and socks turned into buying a Land Rover. <laughs> That's sky life for you. I have found some more conkers though. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make this detergent now. We bought it! <laughs> so I'm now outside the chap's house who's sold us the Land Rover. I'm very excited. But now Sarah is back in the car park that we met the guy. So she's trying to sort out the tax and sort out the insurance so that I can drive this back to Sky tonight. This is crazy. I can't believe we've done this. But I have wanted a Land Rover for a really long time. And living where we are now, this really justifies having it. Especially when we're right out in a glen with a potholed road. And I'm talking about the main road that doesn't get gritted in the winter. And then the trackway that leads out to our house. It's the right thing to do. But I still feel a bit like, oh, 
Anyway, uh, I'm happy. I'm really happy. And the chaps brought me back to his house to give us the wheels, the original wheels, because it's got alloys on it that weren't original. So he's going to give us the original wheels as well, which he didn't have to do, which is really cool of him. And then he's going to drive me back to the car park where Sarah is, and hopefully she's making progress with the tax and the insurance. <laughs> wow. I'm buzzing, I'm nervous, I'm actually shaking a little bit. This is cool and exciting and scary. We just bought a Land Rover in a car park down the road from a castle. Yeah, wow. This is all a bit scary to me. I hate making big decisions like this, but the cottage paid off and the boat paid off and this feels kind of the same. So it's very exciting. I'm taxed with the fun job of taxing it. Yay. We have to get a shift on because we have to make sure it's road taxed and we have to make sure the insurance is in place before we can drive it back to Skylife Cottage, which is about five and a half hours drive. And then we've got to drive back in convoy. Me in my car with Jack and Willie in our new Land Rover. Oh my gosh. Why do we do this to ourselves? Oh, man. Well. <laughs> We're in our Land Rover. We're in our Land Rover. How amazing is that? How did this happen? This was supposed to be a trip to Inverness to buy pants and socks. Yeah. And it Pants and socks that led into a Land Rover. To be fair, I've been looking for one for ages, right? And then this one came up. I got in touch with the guy a while ago, but he never got back to me. And then he got back to us when we were in Inverness last night. And I was like, come on, it's not going to be that good. And it's a really nice car. And it's really low mileage as well, which is kind of amazing. I can't drive it, apparently. I just tried to, and it was very jerky. But I'll get used to it. It could be an interesting drive back to Sky. You say you though. You happy? <laughs> Yeah, I'm very excited. This yeah, is we're crazy. both really excited. We're really chuffed. And it's the proper car for where we live. And dragging the boat back on and the beach. And dragging the boat on the beach as well. Chuffed? I think so. Yeah, me too. <laughs> wow. Now that we've got it taxed and insured a yeah. little bit better. Because yeah, Sarah, not me. I'm not yeah. very good at that sort of stuff. Otherwise, we might have been kipping in the back tonight. Yeah, I know. So anyway, we've got to do a very long drive. So let's do that. And then we'll uh, see you back on the Isle of Skye when we've calmed down. Hopefully, Friday the 13th, not unlucky I know, for it's us. Friday the 13th as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. What a, what a day. Momentous. Amazing. <laughs> So now that the insurance was in place and the road tax too, it was time to take our Land Rover Defender back to Skylife Cottage. I arrived home very late and it was time for bed. <laughs> it's the next morning, we got home really late last night, so I couldn't really film the car or anything, but here it is. It's 8 o'clock the following morning, I'm still so excited about having this car, it's ridiculous. It's just so cool, I'm just so chuffed, and let's have a look inside. I still can't quite believe that we've got one of these now. I've always wanted one. I never really thought I could justify having it in a town, but we don't live in a town now, we live far from it. So this is pretty much the perfect car for here. And, oh, it's just such a cool car. Totally functional, definitely need it, but it's just cool as well. I mean, let's be honest, it's a cool car. It's really, really nice. Well, I suppose if you're into this kind of car, but I am very much, so oh, I'm still buzzing. I've only had it for a few hours. And this is the first morning of waking up with it in the drive and it's just so nice. I should probably get some work done now, but yeah. Hey! <laughs> I think Jack likes it. Hi pal! I'll come on the other side. Jack seems to be quite happy sitting in his seat here. He just jumped straight in, which was really cute. The car is really quite high up, so for him just to jump straight up was quite a surprise, but he managed no problem at all. That's how high he just jumped up. From the ground. <laughs> up to there. One bound, no problem whatsoever. Super dog. Hey puppy! You like it in the new car? Yes, me too. <laughs> it is a Saturday night and we are just getting this week's video finished. I've just done my bit tying it all together and Willie's out in the buyer now checking it, checking all the sound levels because he's got a much better ear for that than me being a musician. I've come back in the house with Jack. Excitingly, it's only a couple of days until I get my calendars and Christmas cards back for my pre-orders that I did. Thank you so much to everyone that did put in a pre-order. I really, really appreciate it. There's not much I can do right now for packaging them all up and doing all the postage, but there are a few little bits and pieces that I can do to get myself prepped for when I get those calendars so I can send them out as quickly as possible. One thing I put in all my orders is a little hand-signed thank you card just for everyone who orders and I have 
probably about 250 of those to sign. So I'm gonna be doing that. I'm also gonna be putting stickers on all the envelopes that I use to send them out. That's what I'm gonna be doing tonight. I think I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine. I might light the fire, put on some TV that Willie doesn't like, and I'm just gonna get on with that so I'm nice and prepared for when the calendars arrive. envelopes stickered and all the cards signed so that's two tasks off my list for before I can send the calendars out. Jack was absolutely no help whatsoever in fact I think he's fallen asleep and is snoring. I've written a secret message on one of the thank you cards which says Jack Spaniels says hi and I'm gonna put that in one of the orders randomly. Is that your special secret card? A special secret message from Jack Spaniels. So if you get this card in your calendar order let us know and we might have a special video message for you from the one and only Jack Spaniels. I'm just looking at a Land Rover and I'm just thinking to myself, there's some bits that do need doing. I'm going to start chipping away and I'm going to put it on the channel as well so you can see, because I think some people will find this quite interesting. I certainly will. Doing it, that is. Some things that I want to change, some things that I want to repair, some things that I want to improve over a period of time. So let's have a wander around there and I'll show you what I mean. The first job is the front bumper, which is seen better days, it's heavily corroded and it needs replacement. So I'm going to get that on order right away. As you can see, it's pretty bad. So I'm going to order a galvanised one instead of just a mild steel one. And then I'm going to paint it myself. They just come off by removing these screws on the top here. But I'll take that off and that'll be the first thing to order. I think a new bumper like this, a galvanised one is about £100, so it's no great big outlay. Plus I managed to negotiate price off the car as well. So it's all part of the purchase price as far as I'm concerned. These alloy wheels, I'm sure that a lot of people think they're really cool, but they're not original to the car and I'd prefer to have the original wheels on there. Not quite so urgently, but I definitely want to uh, get these switched over onto the original white wheels. And as you can see, they're quite corroded in places. They're not actually that bad to be fair, but uh, I think it's because they've not been on the car for that long compared to the other wheels. So I'll take these back. Um, I'll use the angle grinder to take that back with a wire brush fitting on it. And then I'll prime it and paint it. That's another project for the future. Again, it's not a big rush to do this, but I do want to do it at some point in the future. So that will be happening on the channel too. I had the car round at Richard's house yesterday and he went round it and looked underneath it and he did the hammer test. So, you know, on the rust just to check and see how bad it is. The great news is the chassis is absolutely solid. The bad news is there are parts of the chassis that can be replaced that aren't, and it's the back part that's the most worrying. The section along the bottom there, that's called the cross member, and that needs probably to be replaced in a couple of years, but at the moment, it's okay for now. So what I'm gonna do in the meantime, I need to remove this. It's like a sort of bitumen sealer type thing. It's, I don't know why they put this on. If it was put on from new, it makes sense, but the fact is it's not probably been put on from new, which means that it's actually caught the water underneath it, and it's made the rusting process worse. Like, look in there, that's really bad. So I need to get all of this stuff off and then I need to get it right back to bare metal and then I need to rust treat it with a special product and then after that I'll do three coats of paint on top of there as well and then probably in a couple of years time I will have to replace that but Richard's offered to do that for me as well because Richard's a really good mechanic so that's really handy having him around again. <laughs> Next one Richard. Another issue is these steps. I'm going to try and get these working again so that they can be folded up. And if not, I'll just take them off. I've got to try and get them moving, get these joins moving. And if not, I'll be under there with an angle grinder cutting them off because uh, I don't want to risk anyone else with injury or worse. So yeah, actually that probably will be job number one, getting them done and getting the bumper ordered. Richard also said that these hinges will need looking at because there's a bit of wobble in there when you open the door. So I'll probably end up replacing these or at least servicing the pin that's in there. But I need to get them off to have a look at them. So that's another job. One of the many. But 
in the end we'll have a absolutely fantastic car for a really good price so all in all there's a few jobs that i've got to do i really don't mind that for the price i paid for the car and the amount it's going to cost me to do these jobs i've got a real bargain so i'm really really happy with this car i've got a few things to do and i'm going to put it on the channel for you all to see as well hope you enjoyed the next few months of uh, bits and bobs in the car Yesterday I picked up my calendars and Christmas cards from the printers in Broadford and today I better get cracking with some of this packaging and postage because they ain't gonna send themselves out. As just a little thank you and a little personal touch, I signed all the pre-ordered calendars. So 232 were pre-ordered, amazingly, thank you so much. I have a cuppa <laughs> and I have a pen and I'm gonna sign all 232 right now. down here isn't it Jack? I'm sorry. After signing the calendars I packaged them all in compostable bags before they are put into envelopes. It's really important to us to choose sustainable packaging options so where possible everything we use is either recyclable or compostable. Next I had to start on the Christmas cards. They come pre-scored but flat so I had to fold each individual card before adding an envelope and putting them together into packs of six. Somehow I managed to avoid getting any paper cuts during this process. Finally, it was time to start packing up the first of the pre-orders to take to the post office in the morning. I prioritise the international orders first as they will take the longest to arrive and I want to make sure everything gets there in plenty of time for Christmas. It's the next morning and I am ready to head to the post office with my first batch of calendar pre-orders to send out. It's quite a long process, it takes quite a while. Signing and prepping all the calendars, getting them packaged up, doing all the postage and the customs forms. It's probably taken me about five or six hours to get to this point. That's my first 43 orders that I'm taking out of 200 and something. <laughs> I haven't even looked at how many there are because yeah, that number scares me a little bit. Now I've got to go and see Eve at the post office. It's quite a lot. I'm going to be at the post office for quite a while. So sorry, Eve, I'm going to definitely owe you a drink after this. <laughs> Let's head out and get these posted. All right, so this is a minor job, but I've managed to get this moving, which is great. I just uh, put a load of maintenance oil in three in one it's just uh, penetrating oil basically and it's going in and i hit it with a hammer a few times to be quite honest and i've got it moving which is great it's going to need a lot of work to get it cleaned up that doesn't look very nice up against the side of the car so i'm gonna to have to get the angle grinder on that clean that all up and then paint it this rubber part that comes off i'm gonna to have to clean under there as well let's see if i can do the other side too done the same on this side i've just uh, put in some penetrating oil in there and that's had about half an hour to sit so hopefully we've got in there and when I hit it with a hammer it doesn't break but if it does I'll just take them both off because I can jump in and out and so can Jack I would prefer to keep them if possible and then I'll be able to work on them and get them looking good again by grinding all the rust off and then just uh, tarting them up a bit I guess bit of paint, bit of Q-rust to get the rust neutralised but yeah let's see if we can get it moving first because if I can't get it moving there's no point even thinking about that Alright, moment of truth Right, I'm worried now that I'm going to end up doing some damage to the actual car by uh, whacking this again and again and again and again and it hasn't moved an inch. I'll probably leave it for this oil to penetrate over time. I'll try again but right now it's looking like these will be coming off which is probably an easier job than getting them back to how they were anyway. I don't know, my feeling is that these are probably going to end up getting chopped off. Yeah, I think that's what's going to end up happening. I could replace them with new ones but I don't want to. But we'll give it another go in a little while. Once the oil's had a chance to get in there a bit better, I feel it as though they're too far gone. It 
was two weeks to the day yesterday that I picked up my calendars and Christmas cards from the printers and started on the mammoth task of getting all the packaging and postage done for all the pre-orders. I'm nearly there! <laughs> this is the last round of postage to do. There's a lot of empty cardboard boxes now where all the calendars and the cards were. It's about half past four and I'm just going to push on in studio get those 40 orders done and I can take them to the post office tomorrow. And that's me done with the pre-orders. So excited. <laughs> While I've been doing all this calendar packaging, you can probably hear Willie in the next room, he's getting on with editing the video. So he's done the main share for this last couple of weeks. And he's probably editing right now the video that you've just watched. <laughs> that's quite strange. Let's see how he's doing. Hey, yeah. Hello. Working hard? Yeah. Are you still doing your postage? Yep. Amazing. Thanks folks over there. Yeah, thank you so much to everyone that did order. I really appreciate it. Like the support has absolutely blown me away, both of us. Mm -hmm. And this fella has been supporting me by doing most of the editing. I've got to do this while she's doing all this postage and together it just works. Yep. It's like a partnership. We're so. a team. I was saying I might have a hot chocolate. But... Well, yeah, put a wee bit in. Do you want a hot chocolate? Just to get us through. <laughs> just because it's so cold. It's flipping freezing today. Yeah, Feels a very wintry. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. All right. Little boozy hot chocolate. I'm ready to go and get these orders done. And I figured I can use my festive mug now because it's the 1st of November and the clocks went back at the weekend. So it's dark, it's cold. And we saw our first Christmas adverts today on the telly. So I guess it's that time of year. <laughs> and I am packaging up Christmas cards. So it feels appropriate. <laughs> That's over 40 orders ready to go to the post office tomorrow morning. I don't know exactly how many orders I've done in the past two weeks, but I'll probably figure it out and write it down below so you can have a look. But it's good fun. It's just a little bit, uh, a little bit pressurized and it's, yeah, it's hard work. If you are ordering from a small independent business, then yep, cut them some slack because they're probably working really, really hard, but they do really appreciate your orders. So definitely good to shop small and shop independent, especially for Christmas coming up. I don't know if I should show you the studio now because it is an absolute tip. It is so messy. There is packaging everywhere, there's boxes everywhere. Definitely needs a good tidy up in the morning, but I'm so happy to get that done. The calendars and Christmas cards are already back up for general sale because I do have a bit of stock remaining after the pre-orders are done. If you don't see them on the Etsy store, check the home page for my shop and there should be an announcement that tells you if there's any left. And I will also try and put up the last postage dates of Christmas on there as well. Whew. Right, time to go in the house, put my feet up, have some food and relax. <laughs> As always folks, thank you so much for watching our video. We really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do leave us a like, a comment, or subscribe to our channel if you don't already. It's free to do and it really helps us out. And if you did enjoy the video and you want to support the channel, you can do so over on Ko-fi by buying us a coffee or Jack a wee treat. Or if you want to help us out more long term, you can become one of our amazing patrons over on Patreon, where you get lots of bonus content for helping us out every month. And we genuinely couldn't keep making these videos without the support from our patrons and from Kofi and also my Etsy store and just watching these videos. So thank you. Links to all of our pages are in the video description. Be Hello. Thanks again for watching and we will see you do, 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 do. next week. Ooh. <laughs> Come back next week. Or, I mean, you'll upset Jack. Seriously. <laughs> He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. What you got? What you got? What you got? Come on. Let's go and get you a treat, eh? We're leaving our suburban life. Moving over the sea to sky. Are we chasing a dream? I guess in time we will see when we're living the sky life. Living the sky life. We better see you next week. Honestly, I'll come and look for you if you don't come back. I'll do that Oi. again. What? Don't be mean. I was going to say something else and I can't remember what it is.
It's the next morning. We got home last night really late, so I didn't want to... Wind. Oh yeah, Jack. Won't eat your breakfast, but we'll eat grass. We got a land rover! I'm not entirely sure what that is. I'm not entirely sure I want to find out what the maggot is. He's speech I'm on board with, but I'm going to park in a maggot. He has a much better... You can see me in the mirror. I don't like that. All the envelopes and the cards ready for the calendars. Just gotta get the calendars now and make another video. And another one. 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 It's the Truman Show. <laughs> it's the true Truman Show. <laughs> this is why we don't record after we've been drinking alcohol. <laughs> 44 orders ready, actually no, 43, 44, I have no idea, a lot. Click here to subscribe to live in the sky life. Click here to go back to the start of our adventures with our very first episode.